Earlier today, somebody said to me, can't the administration walk and chew gum? Clearly, they cannot. What the president talks about, what his administration talks about, equals their priorities. It's what the American people pay attention to. Maybe, just maybe, we aren't preventing the preventable because we are worried about the wrong things. Our leaders are worried about the wrong things. Think about that while we talk to our next guest. Her daughter ended up in the hospital because of chemical exposure from the Northrop Southern crash in East Palestine. With that, we bring in Heidi Parpadella. She's in East Palestine. She's a kindergarten teacher who's also suffering now from breathing problems. Uh, Heidi, first off, how are you and your daughter doing? Um, we're still experiencing a lot of symptoms. Um, sometimes we have new ones by the day. Uh, we have rashes, breathing issues, tightness in our chest, um, sore throats, scratchiness, burning in our mouths, uh, severe headaches. And none of these happened before the chemical spill? No. Wow. Um, I took my daughter to the emergency room twice and they diagnosed her with um, irritated lungs due to chemical exposure. They gave her a breathing treatment and they put her on a steroid and an inhaler, which she has never had to do a day in her life. She's a competitive athlete. Wow. What do you need right now uh, from the government and for, from Norfolk Southern that you're not getting? We need somebody who is going to address these medical issues, somebody who can point us in the right direction, somebody who's going to help us. Um, they did set up a clinic here, but they're not allowed to prescribe anything. They're not really allowed to do any blood work, any urine tests, anything. Um, as far as local hospitals, they're trying to treat us the best that they can, but they're not even sure what chemicals they are treating each individual for. So they treat it in a broad way so to wow. speak. So we need some actual medical experts who are willing to help us. And yeah. as we, we need understand to know it, that it, are we going point, to be safe? Yeah, at one point we understood that the clinic didn't even have doctors at it uh, for, for at least a while. I want to play for you a shot from a, a soundbite from Joy Behar, who said something uh, today on The View that I think a lot of liberals are thinking. She just had the guts, if you will, to say it out loud. He placed someone with deep ties to the chemical industry in charge of the EPA's chemical safety office. That's who you voted for in that district. Donald Trump, who reduces all safety. Sounds like she's almost blaming you. Yeah. Um, I actually heard from a railroad member who was at our hotel that we stayed at that we should have been more prepared for something like this. Who is really prepared for something like this? Wait, somebody not from this Norfolk Southern said that We're to you guys? We're not even considered a town. Yes, in our hotel. And I'm guessing Norfolk Southern isn't paying for the hotel. You're having to pay for that on your own. Um, they did reimburse us for the All time right. span that we were there. Um, but when you start to run out of funds, you have to come home eventually. So we are back in our home. Is there any is there any hope, if you will, for you and especially for your daughter's health condition? Uh, do, if they they clean up the soil and they clean up the streams, is, is are you all going to get better, or do you just kind of have to roll the dice? I feel like it's a crapshoot. I feel like we're rolling the dice. I don't know. Nobody has been able to tell us for sure. Nobody credible anyway. Um, they keep telling us, you're safe, you're fine, but yet we have all of these problems that we never had before this happened. So all right. I'm not optimistic. I can, I can, un I can understand why you're not. Um, we're going to keep checking in on you, Heidi, and your daughter, and stay on the story. We appreci appreciate you talking to us, all right? All right, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.